कमाल का शॉट लाजवाब अद्भुत और ये चौका खेल जगत की पूरी कहानी ओनली ऑन हैश टैग आकाशवाणी भाई टू एम प्रेजेंस हैश टैग आकाशवाणी में ना आज मैं बात करने वाला हूं लांस क्लूजनर से क्यों क्योंकि हमारा फोकस कहाँ है हमारा फोकस है टीम भारत पर और हार्दिक पांड्या एक्चुअली रूल आउट हो चुके हैं फ्रॉम द टूर्नामेंट प्रसिद्ध कृष्णा आ चुके हैं अब वो सारी बात मैं जरा लांस क्लूजनर इज वेटिंग सो लेट्स गो देर रहती फटाफट से वेट नहीं कराना चाहिए लेट मी कॉल लांस क्लूजनर लांस माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मार्को एंसन ही इज बिन एक्सेप्शनल आई मीन एवरी टाइम ही बोल्स ही टेक्स टू विकेट्स एट लीस्ट uh if not more uh, so what do you think makes him so special i think what he's done so well in the last 6 months is that he's he's found that ability to swing the ball back to the right handers i think he's been really consistent with with his length as well i mean for me it's been amazing how his improvement in the last 6 months and you know all credit to you know staff and uh, and captain i guess for using him you know with a new ball as well i think his consistency has been great so he's always asking questions and you know i think the top wicket taker and the power players so far out of everybody so that's been a success is a fair play i also feel uh, the height makes a lot of difference uh, and maybe the tata ipl experience as well uh, but what about mohammad shami the boy is on fire i mean uh, uh, three games 14 wickets we rarely see somebody bowl so well uh, so what is making him special that's one and two how does south africa counter his threat uh, i mean that's a serious threat Yeah um I mean he's been he's been outstanding and I think um you know if we look at it just just off the face of it um India is probably the one team that that can stop South Africa and and I guess vice versa as well so I, I don't think it's going to be the last time in this world cup they play against each other um funny enough so um it'll be a good a good outing for both teams um just to have a, a good look at each other but i, I just got a feeling that uh, these two teams are going to meet each other again um uh, in the next couple of weeks as well so you know as i said earlier india are going to be asking the same questions they're going to be forcing our uh, our south african batters to to score off good balls um and and let's be honest it's not just um um shami that's done well i think i think siraj has been amazing as well um so it's going to be a real true test and probably one of those games you know two form sides in the competition fair play lans actually i also feel that dress position that seam position oh my god he's so good uh but uh, since you've played so much at the eden gardens as well uh, what do you feel that uh, what would be the right combination for south africa i mean do you go with four fast bowlers and keshav or uh, since the pitch was a little drier in the previous game do you actually bring in tabrez uh, what should be the right combination for south africa we've seen the ball move around a little bit in the evenings um whether that's going to be the case um in in the upcoming game is a is a different question but um it could you know a score on the board and you know a little bit of scoreboard pressure could could and a little bit of movement in the evening um you know force india to chase a decent total um they've done it you know quite a lot in the past but you know that scoreboard pressure in a big world cup game always counts a little bit yes sure they've india have qualified for you know the semi finals already so um so that's one thing but uh, you know as i said earlier it's one of those games where they'll just be feeling each other out because i, I somehow don't think this is the last time they'll see each other in in this competition and and what about the plans uh, i mean india is a batting power house so do you think south africa will have some specific plans for uh, virat rohit uh, shubman gill kl rahul i mean what would be the plans yeah it's a difficult question without you know seeing the surface um i i feel they possibly will just play one spinner but you know they'll have to read the surface and they as we touched on earlier they've got the luxury of you know playing a a shamsy if they feel that that the wicket will turn a little bit um or offer something to the spinners um so they'll just have to have a a decent look at that uh, the nice thing is that they they'll have options um but um i think you, we won't see anything different in terms of you know the the top 8 i guess um they might tinker with with a little bit of the bowling uh, depending on uh what they think the surface might do 
uh, I really hope that they are not watching this. I really hope uh, that South Africa not listening. Please don't listen to Lance. Uh, okay, uh, jokes aside, uh, what's your prediction for this game? I think it's going to be a tie. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I, I think, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one to, to call. I think I think India, I guess, probably the have a little bit of an edge, let's considering uh, in the Eden Gardens where you've kind of playing against 12 people. Um, you know, that, that that crowd adds an extra person. So probably India, I guess. Um, you know, I think the head says India, the heart's always with your own country, but um, it's going to be, a, a, I'm expecting a, a good tight game and, and something that will build it up for the next time that these two sides meet uh, further on in the competition. Thanks a lot, Lance. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, so this was uh, Lance Klusner. Of course, this Lance Klusner. We all know that Zulu is very popular. What a person is. What a player is. What a player is. Actually, if today Tata IPL is playing, then they get a multi-million dollar contract. One of the most expensive players. It was such a special player.